हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज दीपिका पटेल एंड वेलकम टू द स्कूल किस क्लास सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर टूडेज क्लास एंड टूडेज क्लास विल बी बेस्ड ऑन योर रिविजन क्लास ओके सो वी विल रिवाइज द चैप्टर ऑफ हेरिडिटी एंड इवॉल्यूशन विच इज चैप्टर नाइन ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट ओके सो वाट इज ऑल अबाउट द चैप्टर नाइन इट इज द हेरिडिटी एंड इवॉल्यूशन एंड इन योर टर्म टू एग्जामिनेशन द इवॉल्यूशन टॉपिक इज नॉट देयर ओके ओनली द हेरिडिटी टॉपिक इज डिस्क्राइब इन द इन योर सिलेबस ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट सो वाट इज हेरिडिटी सो हेरिडिटी वी हैव थ्री टर्म्स हेरिडिटी वेरिएशन एंड इवॉल्यूशन ओके so what is all these term so we know that our body is made up of a cell okay and in the cell there is nucleus and in the nucleus there is chromosome which is the thread like structure okay and in the chromosome we have dna and dna we have gene so from generation to generation this dna which contains the information of inher- inheritance information of just a second okay so information of inheritance okay so from generation to generation this cell this information is transferred from their parents from parents to their of springs okay to their of spring and we also know that the reproduction process okay what is happen in the reproduction process basically the important process is the fertilization okay where the male egg cell and the female egg cell fuse to form a zygote which is a single cell and later it the cell division happened and embryo form and later the fetus form which is the organ organ part where the organs develop which is called the fetus fetus and then the baby cell develop okay so all this process basically it, it depends on this cell division cell divisions okay so when cell divides the nucleus also divides suppose this cell divides and it formed two new cells and this nucleus also divide when cell divides firstly the nucleus divide okay firstly in the division process of the cell firstly the nucleus nucleus divide okay so when cell divides some information is transferred to their cell okay some information is transferred to their cell and most of the information which are transferring from one cell to from the parent cell to the parent cell to divided cell okay most of the uh, most of the information is similar similar okay and some also their minor changes happen in the information minor changes happen in the information okay so when the similar information is transferred from the parent cell to the uh, divided cell to the uh, reproduced cell okay this similar information which are transferring from the parent cell is called the heredity okay heredity and these minor changes which are which are transferring from the parent cell is called the variation so why variation and this variation leads to the leads to evolution leads to evolution okay so what is evolution evolution happened happened when evolution happened evolution is not a sudden change okay evolution happened over a long period of time over a long period of time 
so firstly we will understand heredity and the variation then we'll take example of the evolution okay so what is the heredity what is the heredity the same characteristic which is transferring from their parent to their offspring is known as the heredity okay and what are the variation the minor changes in the information which are transferring from the parent cell to the divided cell is known as the variation okay so why variation is important why variation is important important because it like uh, let's say example that this is the environment okay this is the environment for the uh, for the insect species okay insect species and they live in a cold environment they live in a cold environment now now suppose suppose suddenly the environment change suddenly the environment change and it becomes hot or you can say temperate okay so if if there is no variation in all these species it means if there is no minor changes on all these uh, in all these species then all species would die would die and and their species would would wiped out from this earth okay species wiped out from us okay so here the variations come okay suppose there is no variation in the insect in all the insect species and the environment sudden change so all these species would be wiped out from uh, after some time okay and suppose there is variation happened in these species and some species survived in the species survived in the hot environment okay so some species would die but some can survive in the environment why because there are variations in their cells that they can live in the hot and temperate environment because their information change into that they can live in the all type of environment so they can survive in the they can survive also in the hot and temperate temperate environment okay so that why the variation is important because variation helps to survive variation is important for the survival okay survival because uh, we do not know when environment change when environment change okay so variation is important for our species for their survival because we do not know when the environment can change okay so let's suppose now let's suppose that this is the species okay this is the insect and this is the species of this insect okay this is the species of this insect now suppose the variation happened from their generation to generation generation to generation and after some time a individual came from this uh, from this particular species and there is no similar traits or characteristics from their parent species so it can be called a completely new species okay completely new species and why is this happening because of the variations and over a long period of time let's suppose the thousand of years later a new species a uh, species came which have which do not have the similar information from their parent species okay so what can we call this individual we can call that it is a completely new species so it is led to the evolution evolution okay so this is called the evolution so i hope this is clear what is heredity and the variation and the evolution okay now what are the similar and identical word similar and identical so it means that you are similar to your parents but you cannot exactly look like to your parents okay this means that is you cannot exact identical to your parents but you are 
similar to your parents means the body designs okay they are not identical to your parents now now comes how these traits these traits which is a characteristic or uh, trait can be transferred how these traits transferred okay from parents to their offspring see in our cell we have nucleus and in the nucleus we have chromosome and the chromosome we have dna and in the dna is we have gene so gene is the main part and gene is responsible for the responsible for inheritance inheritance and it is also responsible for transferring traits from parents to from parents to their offspring okay to their offspring now see gene always works in a pair offspring gene always works in a pair works in a pair okay and gene also called the unit of heredity unit of heredity it works in a pair and it is also called the unit of heredity so let's clear all this so now we know that for the different function of our body there are different type of genes okay for different function different genes okay different genes let's suppose your eye color height hair face structure okay so for the eye color there will be a different gene for the height there will be a different gene for the hair like it will be curlier curly or straight so this is for the different gene okay for the face structure the round face or the uh, uh, nose will be big or small okay so all these functions of our or you can say all these structures which have which is in our body is different function for the different gene okay so for the different function we have different genes okay so let's say for the height there will be tall and there will be short genes okay so, because a uh, genes works in a pair so t and t okay so there can be tall and tall okay and there can be short and tall there can be tall and short or there can be short and short okay so for the tall and tall there will be the result will be tall and also the tall here also tall and here the short okay so why it is happening because this t the tall will be dominant dominant gene okay what is the dominant gene it means it 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 dominates the other genes okay and what is the recessive gene it means it will be work with the with their identical okay recessive gene okay so here you can see the recessive gene will work with their identical which is the short t itself okay so the answer will be short or you can say the phenotype will be short short okay and these patterns is, is the genotype okay and what is the pure bred pure bred means either t or t either t or t, or t okay this is called the pure bred now let's suppose now let's see the mendel's experiment so mendel experimented in the p why because there 
they can easily grow okay and uh, they have uh, the pea plant have the many variations like the tall short okay tall and short the flowers will be violet or white the uh, seed will be round or wrinkled wrinkled or the seed will be green or yellow so these all the variations found in the pea plant so mendel experiment in the pea uh, experimented in the pea plant okay so what did this what did he found find what did he find let's say uh, let's see the first experiment so <clears throat> he took a plant he took a tall plant and the short plant and he took a um, pure bred character okay pure bred gene means Double capital double T and the small double T. Okay, so the resultant will be tall plant only. Okay, either this tree comes or this tree comes, and the result will be the tall. Now what he will do? What he did? He took a this tall plant and self. Here the cross pollination happened, and here the self pollination. happened okay so the tall genes is the capital t and the small c and this is also the capital t and the small g and when it self pollinated then the resultant will be either t o t either t o t or either t o t means the capital t and the small t or either the small double small t okay so the resultant will be tall tall and the short okay so it gives the ratio 3 ratio 1 now what he so this is the mono hybrid experiment mono hybrid experiment okay and he also did the di hybrid experiment di hybrid experiment means two traits are transferring okay so he took a round and yellow seed round and yellow seed and wrinkled and green seed okay and he crossed so this is the f1 generation and this is the f2 generation okay and in the f1 generation he found when he crossed uh, these two seed so he found that the round and yellow seed both so in the f2 generation when he crossed two round and yellow seed two round and yellow seed so he found The ratio nine ratio three ratio three ratio one. Okay, so firstly the round and yellow seed, which is the nine, and the round and green seed, wrinkled and yellow seed, and the wrinkled and green seed. Okay, so these ratios we found. Okay, so nine ratio three ratio three ratio one. Okay, so these are the experimented experiments of the Mendel. Okay, so Mendel proposed. law law of inheritance what is the law of inheritance the law of dominance law of dominance okay law of segregation and the law of independent assortment okay the law of independent assortment now the sex determination topic we have remained two topics we have remained the sex determination and the acquired and the inherited character so what is the acquired character the acquired character is the lifetime experiences okay it is it is obtained by you obtained by you means uh, the information is not in the reproductive cell and what is the inherited character the information of the gene the information is in the reproductive cell means it is given uh, it is in you because of your pa parents okay you have the curly hair because of your mother also have the curly hair or the father also have the curly hair okay and you can swim or you can speak english it is because of you because you can uh, you learned english okay you learned how to swim okay so these are the acquired and the inherited character 
now what are the sex determination so the mechanism of the sex determination is different in animals in some animals like the uh, crocodile turtle alligator so their sex determination is depend on the environment okay on the temperature where the egg, egg is fertilized okay and for the snails the sex uh, for the snail there have um, there is different mechanic mechanism for this sex determination okay now for the human the sex determination is different uh, like in the in the human we know that we have 23 pairs of pairs of chromosomes it means we have 46 chromosomes okay so the last pair of the chromosome is known as the sex cro chromosome sex chromosome and in the female we have x and x means the perfect chromosome perfect pair and in the male we have x and y x and y okay so it is the mismatched mismatched pair okay so so the the sex determines during the during the during the fusion of gamete okay during the fusion of gamete you can see the fertilization during the fertilization time okay so the egg produced in the half form means x and x okay and from here from the male also in the half x um, in the half is from x and the half is from y okay so it is depend on the male is from that it will fuse if it is fused with the x if uh, if this ova the female uh, female egg cell is fused uh, is fused with the x then the female uh, then the baby child will be female okay and the if this egg this ova okay or you can say the female egg cell is fused with the y xy so then the baby child will the male okay so the sex determining is the is by the sperm okay or you can say the father is the okay so by the father in the sex um, sex uh, the baby will be uh, will be female or male it will be determined by the father sperm okay so this is all the revision class of your chapter 9 and i hope you like it and i hope i can make you clear okay so thank you for joining the class thank you again